Hey guys, how's it going? It's Infa King here, and I'm going to bring you guys a GFX tutorial because I've just made an editing tutorial a while ago, and I did get a couple of requests on a GFX tutorial, so I thought I might as well make at least one. So this one's going to be kind of advanced. I did make one a little bit uh, before, and it's not as advanced, but this one you're going to need a lot of stuff. I have a little notepad thing of a list of plugins and other things that you need when it comes to making the text uh, in Cinema 4D which is another thing that you need is Cinema 4D which makes 3D text which you should have if you want to be getting involved in GFX is that you need to have Cinema 4D so I would definitely advise that you get that if you don't have it already so yeah a couple things that you're gonna need is um, Throwsy, which just makes text break into pieces. You also need Reaper, which just makes like a little swirly line thing that you will understand later. And that's actually about it. You need those two things. And yeah, so you're going to open up Cinema 4D. I'm just going to get this started now. Go to File, open up a Lightroom. Um, just to have some light or whatever. I got a Lightroom right here. This one, yep. So just get rid of the whatever this is. And there, you got all the lights right here. And I'm going to do File, Merge. So that way I can put in my own logo. You have to put in Merge. Because if you put in if you uh, go to file open then it'll get rid of the Lightroom so you have to do merge instead and I'm just going to add a 3d something um, let's just use the info logo and just open that up and yeah we gotta resize this because this is pretty big so just make that smaller maybe like that and put it right here take this little rotating thing and just rotate it so that the logos looking right at you and yeah then you also want to take it maybe like put it so it's down more so it looks like you're looking up to it and yeah so if you open up this thing there's gonna be a whole bunch of paths and you need to connect to these paths so you just highlight all of them by holding shift right click on it and go to connect object and delete and that just connects it and makes it all one path so then you just want to drag it out of the null this new info logo null thing and just go ahead and delete it then you want to go to your extrude nerves right here and take the path and put it under the extrude nerves so now that makes it 3d and you want to make the depth probably about a hundred a hundred would probably be really good right there and then you want to what you want to do after that is get this little rotator thing and then make it go like that just so just it looks really cool it makes it look like you're looking up to it so just rotate it up like that maybe maybe like turn it or something I'm just gonna keep it how it is and then if you're using a Lightroom, usually you'll have some materials there. Um, I'm probably going to link this Lightroom. It wasn't made by me. Uh, same with a lot of things that are going to be used in this tutorial. They weren't made by me. They were made by someone called like Wilson HD, I think. Um, or Matty or whatever. Matty or something. I'm not really sure. But he did. He has most of this stuff. Um, when it comes to packs and Lightrooms. So I'm going to link them. I'm just going to say now that they aren't mine though. So you're just going to take this material and put it in the extrude nerves. And then set, uh, click on the this thing, the material right up there and change the projection to cubic. So that way you can see the actual thing. Then this is where you're starting to get into the more complicated stuff. Uh, you want to duplicate this with uh, by pressing Control C and Control V, so that'll duplicate it. Then go over here, go to Atom Array, and put the extrude nerves 
like this, put it under the atom array, and make the extrude nerves make the depth about two, and then get this little blue material, or this red one, doesn't really matter, I'm just gonna get the blue one, and put it right there. For the atom array, make the sphere radius two, I forgot about that. Um, so it looks like this cylinder radius is two and sphere radius is two. And that just makes like a little border. So now what you wanna do after this is duplicate the extrude nerves again and add a blue material to it as well as the the um, black blackish one. So you wanna have both the materials on it. And then this is where you're gonna use your plugins. Uh, this is where you use Throwsy which you have to get does not come with Cinema 4D. So yeah, you're just gonna throwsy it, make it about 80 pieces, and it's gonna start breaking it up. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. Um, throwsy usually takes a really long time sometimes to do other stuff. But yeah, I'm just gonna wait for it. I think it's like halfway done. It's pretty much just breaking every piece. And yeah, I guess in the meantime, I'll go ahead and open up the things that I'll be using. This um, thing that I'm opening up right now was made by the same person who made the Lightroom. It says Matty right here. So, yeah, I'm giving all the credit for that guy. He also made this color correction. He's pretty much using everything. I'm just putting my own style or whatever into it whatever you want to call it. I wouldn't really call it a style. I don't know, because I see it a lot. But yeah, okay, this thing's done. So now we're gonna go to MoGraph, Effector, Random. And the reason why the pieces aren't showing yet is because they're hidden. You can see that right there. So you just want to just go over all of them and now the text is like this, or the object is like this. Then you want to take all of the extra nerd pieces and put them in the random. Then you just want to move it back a little bit so only a few pieces are actually in front of the text or the object. I keep calling it text because I that's what I usually work with. I don't usually use logos. But yeah, you have this thing, it looks pretty cool, looks all broken, and we're gonna add a little bit more to it. You just want to take this path. Oh, you know what? Um, crap, okay, yeah, just take the path. Control C, Control V. Go to your Reaper thing and put this right here. You know, this isn't gonna work, actually. Um, you know, we're just not going to use Reaper in this one, so lucky for you guys. All it really does is make like a little uh, squiggly line as like a little border thing. You don't really need it. It just kind of adds a little bit to it, but not really enough to make a difference. So we're just going to say that this thing is pretty much done. We just have one more thing to add, and we just go to MoGraph, Effector, Random, and... We're gonna change the strength, we're gonna put it to about four. Then go to parameter and make these things all 30. Then go to deformer and point. Then you're gonna to go to the three things that you have and then press Alt G on your keyboard which groups them together. Then you're gonna open up the null object and put the random under it. And that makes a little difference. You can see it gets a little spiky. You can actually make the strength go up a little bit more if you want, like that. Usually you want to keep it pretty low. I'm going to have it at 5. And then now I'm just going to save it. So just make it the text. Let's just make it info logo for, oops, for tutorial. And make it a PNG. Have make sure this alpha channel thing's checked. And now we can start rendering it. Let's see how long is this button going on? Nine minutes. I'm just gonna make this a second part while I'm gonna wait for this thing to render. I'm just gonna make a second part to the video 
just like I did in my last tutorial. So this part's gonna be how to do the logo or the text. Works pretty much the same with text. Um, I just decided to do a logo because I haven't really done one. But that's pretty much gonna that's gonna be it for the video. I will be making another one shortly. And yeah, remember to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys soon.